In this session, I will discuss how to use Surfer to generate grid files from randomly spaced XYZ files. For this, I go to the Windows button and select the golden software Surfer. And here we have the Surfer 8 front end. We would also use the software to generate contours, surfaces and wireframes and we would be specially discussing uh, how to process the files generated by Visual Oil from Ciara list files which contain the weather layer information. So basically we would be using two of the options from Surfer menu. One is the grid option. Within this option we would select the data option and we would be prompted for an open dialog from here we select our input folder which is C IGS dat and XYZ here all those files generated by visual oil are there so here we select the DKN dash E file which is the elevation file you can see in this dialog the output file with the grid extension is already there and if I press OK it will generate the grid file using the Kriging algorithm. What is gridding basically? It is an interpolation method. The difference between interpolation and gridding is that we can do interpolation at any random point along a line, on an irregular line, but when we talk about gridding it means interpolation at regularly spaced grid modes from randomly spaced data. Okay, if I click OK, the output files would be generated in the default Surfer 7 format. But if I want to change the format, I can click this button. And here we have the Surfer 7 format. I click this button and I can select the golden software ASCII grid format. I am using this option because this golden software's ASCII format is can be shared both between the Surfer as well as the Ktron contouring softwares. So using this format we would have the option to generate contours surfaces either in Surfer or in Ktron quick contour. So I click this button and my output file has been generated. And here I have this folder. So this was my XYZ file and this is the grid file that has been generated. I would now use the map option. And from there I select contour map and then the new contour map. And here from the XYZ folder I select the recently generated DKN E grid file. And I have my contours. We would later on play with these contours. But currently, just I place it on the side to see what are the other options available. So I again select map and this time I select surface and then the same file. So I have a three dimensional surface generated from the grid file. So it is showing me a 3D visualization of the topography. I again choose the map option and this time I select wireframe and the same file. So you can see a wireframe has been generated. Wireframe and the surface are the same thing. The only difference between them is that on the surface we have a colored surface overlaid onto the wireframe. Where the, as the wireframe is just the skeleton in 3D. I use a third option which is the shaded relief and then select the same data. So here you can see I have generated a shaded relief map of the topography. Here it is based on the concept let, that let's suppose if we have a sun at this angle so these parts are brighter and these parts have the sh shadows there. So it gives us a three-dimensional shadowing effect. So this is also one of the options. So if I summarize using Surfer first of all I generate a grid from the grid option and once the grid has been generated then I use the op map option and I can generate four different types of graphical outputs. One contours, two surfaces, three wireframes and four shaded reliefs. 
Now I bring back this contours here and we can see what are the various options available. I right click here and I get the properties. So first of all, I go to the levels tab and select level. Here you can see the in contour interval is 10. I can increase or decrease the contour interval. So currently it was 10, I changed it to 5. And then I press apply. So you can see the contour interval has been increased. Similarly, I can change the labels. I click the label here. So every fourth contour has been labeled. So if I change it to 2, press OK and then apply. So now every second contour has been labeled. Now let's fill the contours with colors. So I just press this fill contour and then color scale and press apply. So we have seen that the contours have been filled with colors where, where the colors range from white to black and in between we have different gray scales. Now I select the levels tab and then the fills tab and within the fill tab then I select foreground color. So here you can see I have a bar. On one end I have the black color, on the other end I have the white color. So I can change the color, select this tab and click red for the high. Then select this tab and select blue for the low values. Click OK. OK and then apply. So you can see now we have the contour with red to blue colors where red is the higher colors and blue are the lower colors. I click again the fill then this foreground color button and now I can generate a color spectrum for four colors. I can design it. Just press the click uh, this control button and then click the mouse button. So a new tab is generated here and then again repeat the process here by clicking the control button along with the mouse button. So two different tabs are generated here. We can move these tabs to different positions. Now I change the colors. I select this tab and assign it a yellow color. I select this and assign it a green color. So in this way I can add more tabs here. I can save this four color spectrum by giving it a name color 4 so I can use it later on and then I press OK OK on the next dialogs and then I apply it. So here we have we have a contour map with fill colors where the blues are the lower values then the greens then yellow and then the orange values. So this is how Surfer can be used to generate contour maps. Now we try another file that has been generated by Visual Oil. So I select grid data. So the first Visual Oil program we had used it four times to generate elevation V0, H0 as well as V1 files. So these are individual files which have XYZ data. But the next two Visual Oil programs were one was this engineering properties and the other was average spectral horizontal amplification ASHA file basically. So I would try this file. This, these files are not XYZ files but they are XY, Z1, Z2, Z3 and so on files. That is they contain multiple Z files. So I select this file. All the procedure is the same. The only thing is that this file has a header. So in the A column I have X, in the Y column I have P and in the C column I have first layer P wave velocity of the first layer. But I, if I select this and scroll down so I have different columns and in different columns I have different values like in column C I have VP not then in DV I have VP1, then on E column VS1, VS, in F column VS1 and so on other engineering properties that is like at the end I have this uh, in column L I have 
standard penetration test for first layer, then standard penetration for the second layer. And in between, all the other engineering properties are there. So if I want to generate contours for SPT of the first layer, I select this and here I have to change it SPT not SPT1 sorry. And select the golden surfer S key grid format press save and click ok so this file has been generated so in this way using the same file i would keep on changing the parameters and generate successive files for respective parameters and then we can generate contours for each of these files, either in Surfer or in Ktron quick format.